Hey, sports cards fans. Ray from Philly here on Thursday, May the 20th. Got a package in the mail today from my new PSA Basic Tops player run. So I'm starting a new player. The last one I had just finished was Johnny Bench. So this is a new player run. But first, I have two announcements to make. Uh, first, the Baseball Card Hall of Fame for 2021 is off and underway. Uh, it started May 11th and will end on May 31st. So I posted the video link down below of that video that myself and Mike This Baseball Car Life and Victor from All Time Sports Greats blog, uh, we posted it on May 11th. So I posted the video link down below. Make sure you click on that video link, go watch that video. And then there's a link in that video that will take you to the ballot to vote. Make sure you can't vote for more than 10 players. Uh, the most votes, I've, this is the fourth year I'm doing it, and the most votes I've ever gotten one year was about 44. Uh, after reviewing it today with Mike and Victor, we're already up to 94 votes. Our, our goal was to try and get to 100 votes this year, and after nine days, we're already at 94 votes, so we're doing very, very well. I would say it's a huge success so far this year. Hope you're enjoying it, and remember when you watch the video and you vote on players, if you want to make a comment down below to add a card for next year or two, please do so. Uh, and in that mind, um, in regards to the Baseball Card Hall of Fame, I want to give a shout out and a thank you to Dr. James Beckett, who had me on his podcast the other day. And that was a lot of fun to uh, be with someone like uh, Mr. Beckett. Dr. Beckett is truly an honor and a thrill for me. Uh, Beckett has been... Uh, an iconic figure and name in this hobby for many, many years. And I was on his show to talk about the Baseball Card Hall of Fame in which he voted. So thank you for that. And uh, I'll try and post the link when it gets posted up to his YouTube channel very soon. Uh, it is on podcast. So if you want to go check it out on podcast cast app and just check it in and type in Dr. James Beckett. And it's episode, I think, 477. I'm not really sure. But you'll see Ray from Philly, Baseball Card Hall of Fame. A lot of fun. It's a short uh, interview, 15 minutes, uh, but fantastic. So thank you very much. Make sure you check that out. And don't forget to go to the link below for the Baseball Card Hall of Fame that myself and Mike, this Baseball Card Life, and Victor, all-time great sports blogger, hosting this year. We're the committee. So doing really well, 94 votes. Off to the new player run. Now, I've told you guys before over the years, I've done the Mike Schmidt PSA Basic run. I finished the Steve Carlton PSA Basic Tops run. And on my last video, I finished the Johnny Bench PSA Basic Tops run. So this is my fourth player now. And it's going to be three-time Cy Young Award winner and one of my favorite pitchers of all time, Jim Palmer. Jim Palmer was a three-time Cy Young Award winner. He won, I think, in 1973, 75, and 76. Is a Hall of Famer. Just a great pitcher. Um, doesn't have 300 wins, but he's very close to it. And one of the most, if not the most, dominating pitcher, at least in the American League of the 1970s. So... In this package here, uh, uh, I was able to buy two Jim Palmer cards. So, this guy really packaged it phenomenal. <laughs> yep, and I didn't win this off of uh, eBay. I got this off of the Facebook group. You'd be surprised. You really, you guys really should start checking out Facebook groups. You can make a, a really good deal on there. You save on tax from eBay and things like that. So I highly recommend it. So the first card I picked up was a 1979 Topps Jim Palmer and a PSA 8. Love the all-star banner at the bottom of the card here. Just great. And the second card I picked up was the 1978 Topps Jim Palmer. And I love the all-star shield right at the top there. So the person had a sticker on the back. Take that off. Show the back of the uh, 78 and the back of the 79. Now I already have his rookie card 
his, uh, which is 1966. Now, his Topps cards run from 1966 all the way to 84. I thought his last Topps card was 83, but he does have an 84 Topps uh, card, so that's about 19 Topps cards. So these are my second and third Topps cards. Like I said, I have the rookies. I'm going to flip the phone around and give you guys a closer look at Hall of Famer, three-time Cy Young Award winner, none other than Mr. Jim Palmer. Hold on. Okay, and we're back. So this was the baseball card stand that Don's Field of Dreams cards, a fellow YouTuber, made for me. has the Mike Schmidt sticker on there. Uh, he made quite a few of these for a lot of other YouTubers out there, and I absolutely love it. And I have my PSA stand. And first off, we're going to, again, go over the 78 tops, Jim Palmer, and the PSA 8. I'm trying to get, uh, for his 80s cards, 8s or 9s, and for the late 70s, a lot of 8s, and then starting, I think, around 76 is when I'll be getting 7s, which is a nice collector's grade. And that's probably the lowest I'll go until I get to 71, which is 71 tops. You know, I'll probably get that in a 6. There's the 79 tops. Get a quick look at the uh, back here. Such an underrated set is the 79 tops. I love the all-star banner at the bottom. Just looks great. All right, so there you have it. So you'll be seeing lots of Jim Palmer cards now after seeing Johnny Bench for the past, oh, I don't know, I started Bench in February, finished it this month in May, so that took about two and a half months. So for probably the next two months, be lots of Jim Palmer cards. Um, I'm keeping an eye on right now a 76 tops and there's going to be quite more Jim Palmer cards coming in. All right. So I appreciate all your likes and comments and make sure you uh, hit subscribe if you want to subscribe and like, and don't forget to check out the baseball card hall of fame. The video for that is posted down below. Click on that and click on the link to vote. And once again, thank you and a shout out to Dr. James Beckett for having me on this podcast to talk about the Baseball Card Hall of Fame. Okay, guys, I will see you again tomorrow night for a big PSA post-war rookie Hall of Fame card for Friday Night Vintage. Until then, guys, I will see you real soon. Like I always say, have fun with it. Bye-bye.